Hi, my name is Jorge Lina, and I am so excited to have you here today on my channel. I am going to be creating this video for an assignment for my master's program. So I'm super excited to take you along that journey with me. So if you are here, whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've seen me on a million videos, I look forward to seeing you in the future. This is going to be a little bit different than what I've done here in the past, since this is a long form video, and usually those are tied to handbags. But today I am going to be doing a podcast style video where I talk about a very thought provoking article on the use of artificial intelligence or AI in the classroom. So if you know a little bit about me, I've talked a lot about how passionate I am as a teacher. I am a virtual teacher. So I am going to be using those AI tools for this particular project. I hope that you are excited to come along this journey with me and I hope that you wish me a great grade on this assignment. I will be turning this in on raw, unedited. So exactly what you see here is what I am submitting to my professor. So I hope that you come along on the ride and notice and pay attention to those little details in the voice and see if you can tell where I used AI and where I did not. I look forward to seeing your take on this, but let's go ahead and get started with our discussion. Question one, do I agree with the author's claim that AI is a friend in the classroom? After reading the article, I have to say that I do agree that artificial intelligence or AI can be considered a friend in our classroom. Let's see why. The study highlights how AI can enhance learning by taking over repetitive or time-consuming tasks. This would allow teachers to focus on more critical areas, such as creativity, engagement, or even language development. For example, AI tools like Plot Generator and ELSA help students develop writing and pronunciation skills through personalized feedback. From my own perspective, this can be a huge advantage, particularly when teaching large groups. It's not about replacing the teacher, but supplementing their role, offering a way to engage students with individual needs that might otherwise go unmet. That said, I understand the concerns about AI replacing teachers, but I think the study makes a solid case for the balance between AI and human instruction. Teachers are irreplaceable in providing context, emotional support, and deeper learning experiences. AI can't replicate the nuanced uh, understanding that a teacher has of their students, so I see AI as an enhancement to what teachers already do not a replacement. Question two, does this article align with my own experiences with AI or technology and English learners? When I reflect on my own experiences, this article aligns quite well. Since I teach in a virtual setting, I rely heavily on technology to connect with my students and provide them with personalized learning experiences. Like the study mentions, Tools that assist with language learning are incredibly useful for emergent bilingual students who often need more targeted feedback than I can provide on my own. In my virtual classroom, many students become self-sufficient with technology and they enjoy the autonomy these tools provide. However, I've also noticed a challenge the article touched on, motivating students who aren't as tech savvy or confident in their abilities. In my experience, students who come from different backgrounds or who struggle with motivation can find it harder to engage with AI tools, even if those tools are helpful. This means that, just like the article discusses, I often have to step in to ensure students are guided and supported, balancing the use of AI with human intervention to keep motivation high. Question three, how might technology experiences be different for EL students in a general education classroom? Now, thinking about emergent bilingual students in a general education classroom, their experiences with technology might be quite different from those in a classroom designed for language learning. In a language-specific classroom, AI tools are typically geared towards helping students develop specific language skills, like pronunciation or grammar. These tools are tailored to address the unique challenges emergent bilingual students face, which is why they're so effective. In a general education classroom, however, the use of technology might not be as focused on language acquisition. That example is my math classroom. 
right, our EL or emergent bilingual students might face challenges with general tech platforms that aren't specifically designed for language support, like math or science apps, where instructions and content aren't simplified or scaffolded. This can make it harder for them to keep up, and without built-in language supports, their experiences could become frustrating. For these students, the role of the teacher becomes even more critical. In a general education classroom, teachers need to be aware of the additional supports that emergent bilingual students may require when interacting with technology. It's important to use platforms that offer multilingual support or have features like visual aids and closed captions to help emergent bilingual students navigate lessons. Teachers also have to be proactive in ensuring that emergent bilingual students are given opportunities to use technology in ways that promote their language learning, even when the focus of the lesson is not language specific. Again, this is what I do in my math classroom. So yes, AI tools are amazing and could really enhance an emergent bilingual student's experience within the classroom, but the teacher is absolutely essential in making sure that all the supports, all the technologies and everything that we use are, are appropriate for their language specific needs. All right, so that's it for today's episode. I am so excited that you have stuck around and that you watched this. I hope that you found this insightful. You got to see a little bit into my day-to-day -day life. As a teacher, I am incredibly passionate about technology in the classroom. That is the only form of communication that I have with my students. And like I said, AI cannot replace me. I think that my warmth, the way that I deliver instruction, the way that I actually have this community built with my students is essential, but AI is here to help. And I really do think that we can leverage that technology on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope that you become an explorer of technology yourself. And if you are here on my journey, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.